Hey everyone, it's Shirley with Unboxing Brand and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to post something and sell something on Macari. I recently listed and sold a whole bunch of stuff on Macari and I made about a thousand dollars off the stuff that I found laying around my house that I didn't really need or want anymore. So I thought that maybe I'll make a video about it and share with you some of my tips and tricks. Now by no means am I a full-time seller on Macari nor do I flip clothes and flip other things on Macari for a living. I just listed some stuff that's laying around my house that I didn't need or want anymore. And through doing this, I kind of learned how to use Macari. If you've never heard of Macari before, they are an online platform where you can basically list your items and sell it to anybody around the states. I don't think they ship outside of the states. Basically the way I look at it, it's sort of like a virtual yard sale and people go on Macari for deals. If you want to make money off of something that's really expensive or really valuable, that's not something you would want to put on Macari. Although they do have options there if you want to sell like a Chanel bag or something that's like really expensive. I think they have like authentication process where you can like work with the Macari team and they can vouch that your items are are, like authentic. It's very fast and easy to list items, unlike some other apps that I've used like eBay and also like Etsy and I've also tried Poshmark and I found Macari to be the easiest and the fastest site to use to list something. So what I also like about Mercari is before you list something, you can actually search for that item or similar items. And there's also a tab on their app where you can click recently sold. And if you do that, you can kind of get a sense of how much these items are selling or like something that's similar to what you want to sell. And you can kind of price your items based on what's been selling so far. Mercari also has a really comprehensive review system and it's really easy to build up a reputation. So you might be thinking, well, I don't have a Mercari account is easy for me to get started? And the answer is yes. As long as you are a reliable seller and reliable person and you're not going to scam anybody, Macari makes it really easy for you to build up your account and for you to build up your profile. For every item that sells, the buyer is required to leave a rating for you. It might take some time, but um, it's very easy to get your first review. Macari also have a safe chat feature where buyers and sellers can have exchanges on their app. They also have a desktop version of their website, but I mainly just use the app on my phone. It's like a chat feature and and you can like, if buyers have questions, you can go ahead and chat with them. You cannot leave your phone number or your contact information through the chat. Like their bots will catch that right away and delete your message for you. I recently had a small snag with one of my buyers and we were trying to like figure something out. She was trying to send me pictures, but she couldn't do it through the chat. And I was like, okay, maybe you can email it to me. And then like, I put my email down and then the bot deleted it right away. And then I was like, okay, maybe you can text it to me. And the bot like killed that message as well. So they want to make sure that your transactions go through Macari and not not just like off of Macari where they cannot offer you buyer protection or seller protection. As you list your items and you are offering things for sale, buyers are also able to put an offer. So if they don't like your price, they can offer you something lower and you can either choose to accept it or decline it. If you accept it, that means it's an instant sale. It's not like unless somebody is messaging you and asking, hey, would you consider this amount? If they do it through your listing directly and they say like, okay, I'm going to offer $20 for this $30 item. If you accept it, that buyer can not back out because once they put an offer it's it's like good for like 24 hours or something so once you accept that it automatically becomes an automatic sale so it's not like you accept it and then you go like chat and then like set up a listing or whatnot once you accept it the sale goes through all right so i have something that i was going to put on the website and i thought maybe we'll list it together and i'll show you how easy and fast it is as i'm filming this video okay so i have a pair of cozy fleece gripper booties or like kids shoes for 24 months uh, old toddlers i purchased these in a bundle and I got three of the same size in different colors and I'm definitely not gonna need all three so I want to put this up on Macari and sell it. This is from Zutano. If you're familiar with the brand, when you buy it in bundles it's cheaper and then also you don't have to pay for shipping so I kind of did that. Um, so this is how I end up with extra stuff lying around my house because I don't want to pay for shipping. So I didn't open this because buyers really like it when things are brand new so we're gonna take some pictures first and then we're gonna go ahead and list it on my account. First advice I have for you is that uh, you should take square photos. For some reason on the Macari app it's they just like crop the photos so let's first take some pictures I'm gonna go ahead and switch my camera to square mode and then because this is not opened and I don't want to open it I'm gonna go ahead and 
go to the Zutano website and take some screenshots of this, like stock photos of this so that I can post it on my listing. Some websites don't let you download the pictures, so I go ahead and just take screenshots. And usually stock photos are okay to use, but I recently sold something on Macari from Glossier and I used some of their stock photos of models and they actually ended up flagging my post um, and they had to delete my post because apparently it was not allowed to do. <laughs> All right, so I'm just cropping some photos. So I am going to go to my Macari account. I am going to go to sell and list an item. So the first thing you do is you upload your pictures. You can upload as many as I think 12 photos. I went ahead and listed six because I think this is plenty of photos. Okay, so the next step is what are you selling? Um, these are Zutano Cozy Fleece Gripper Booty size 24 months. When I first started listing items, I like was paying close attention to like capital letters or like um, spacing and stuff like that. Uh, you really don't have to sp spend that much time doing it. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. All right, in the listing, I am going to say brand new Zutano Cozy Fleece Ripper Booty size 24M and the color is cream. Okay, at the bottom of my listing, I always say recycled shipping materials will be used because I save a lot of mailer bags and boxes when I order from Amazon and stuff and I like to reuse it because I don't wanna like throw it out and it just becomes landfill. Um, and the next is optional, you can add hashtags. I always add hashtags, so this is Zutano and then I'll do like kids shoes or maybe like toddler shoes. Uh, Zutano booties, I think that's good. Okay, so next is uh, category. So these are kids shoes. So I'm going to go to kids, boys, zero to 24 months. And the next thing you do is you go to the brand. So this is Zutano and it's already existing. So I selected Zutano. Select the relevant styles. It's not really polka dot and there's no other choices. So I'll just leave that blank. Condition is new. As you can see here, there's different conditions. There's poor, fair, good, like new and new. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose new because it's not even opened. Okay, and then size is 24 months. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, that's kind of optional, I think. So I'm gonna leave it and it's cream and they don't have cream, so maybe I'll put beige. Okay, so here, here's the next step. Um, this one tripped me up a little bit, but it's not actually very difficult to navigate. When you ship via Macari, you can list your item weight, and this thing is definitely not one pound. This is like, well, let's just say it's like eight ounces. You don't really need to put your bag size here. It's optional, it says, so I'm just gonna go to select carrier, and the cheapest is always USPS first class. As long as your item is under a pound, I would suggest using that USPS because because that's the cheapest option. The FedEx Smart Post is also an option if you want to do um, something that's not USPS. And UPS Ground and UPS Home is a lot more expensive. Um, so I usually just choose USPS first class. Okay, so I'm gonna go to save and then set my price. So the good thing about Macari is that the algorithm already knows what you're selling and it, can t it kind of tells you how much this item has been selling before. So the retail price for this was $22 and they're saying $12 is the right amount. That's way too low because mine is brand new. So I'm just gonna say $20. So now it's saying it's gonna be a slow sale and you might have to wait a while before your item sells. It's okay with me because I really don't wanna go lower than that because these are brand new and I'm gonna be losing money if I lower the price. So I'm gonna go to next. And then it kind of shows you if you're selling your, your item for $20, the selling fee is $2, and then there's a process fee of 88 cents. So if you sell it for $20, you will end up earning $17.12. And then, oh, I skipped a step. So after you select your shipping method, you can either pay for the shipping or you can have the buyer pay for the shipping. I always have the buyer pay for the shipping. If you do all pay on the listing, it's gonna have like an icon that says free ship. I've tried doing that before, it hasn't really worked that well. So I usually just let the buyer pay for shipping. And then one other tip is you always wanna list your price a few dollars extra. A lot of people are, I don't want to call them cheap, but they're resourceful. So a lot of people come on Macari looking for a good deal. So a lot of people will be offering to pay a lower price. Like, I don't know, some people probably will say, hey, I want to pay $18 for that. Are you okay with that? So definitely add a few dollars more to what you want to sell your item. 
um, at. But also, of course, they're also charging selling fees and processing fees. So that $20 is not worth what you're gonna put in your pocket after this item sells. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, like there's not much you have to do. You put the photos in, you put the item name, the description, you put hashtags if you want, you put the brand so that people can find you, the condition, the color, and then where you're shipping from. And then also the shipping price. And that's it. Once you are used to how to list an item, like I've listed items in like under five minutes before. And like, that's like unheard of with other or maybe not five minutes, maybe like, I don't know, three minutes. That's pretty fast. Um, so anyway, so I'm gonna hit list and, oh, it looks like size is missing. Dang it, how am I supposed to know the size? Okay, let's just go to Google. Okay, so now it says your listing is live. Now it's live, so that's how you do it. It's super simple. The more you do it, the faster you're gonna get at it. So yeah, so that's how you list an item. Um, it took a little bit longer because I was kind of confused about the sizing of toddler shoes, so hopefully that was right. So now I'm going to go on Macari and show you why it's not that important to like make sure like all the letters are all capitalized or undercase or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for or let's just search for another pair of Zutanos. Okay, so these are all the Zutano booties that are being sold. A lot of people shop for things on their phones. This might look a little bit different if you're shopping on your computer, but when you're searching for things and shopping on their app, as you can see, when you type in what you're looking for, it just shows you the price. It doesn't even show you like the name of the product unless you click into it. So like most people are just gonna be looking at the photos and the price. So let's just go into this one. This one here, you see it says free shipping. When you click into it, then it will show you like the product name and then also the description. So like this person just says Zutana booties on their product name. And yeah, if you want to make an offer, you just click make offer and then you can like type in your price. I'm not going to do it because it will actually go through, but oh shoot, did you see that? As soon as I clicked make offer, it automatically added this item to my like items. So that's interesting. LC boy, LC girl, what does that mean? Oh, use hashtag LC9 to 12 to find other items in this size. That's interesting. This seller added her own hashtags for other people to find her other items. That's cool. See, I'm still learning. I'm definitely not a... <laughs> an expert in Macari. I guess that's one thing I can mention. But let's say you're shopping and you're shopping from the same store or the same seller and you want to like buy three items, you can't bundle it. You have to buy it separately or you can contact the seller and tell them to create a new listing just for you with the items that you want and the shipping if you want to, if you want to save on shipping. So that's something really annoying, um, but hopefully Macari will fix that soon. Okay, let me cover shipping for a little bit. If you don't really sell things online that much, it might be difficult for you to navigate how to like ship your own items. So you can just go ahead and use the Mercari shipping system. That's very easy. They also have an option where you pay for your own shipping off of the website. So if you use like pirate ship or if you sell things online a lot and you have your own way of shipping things and you want to do that off of the website, you can do that too. So you can like click on I'll cover my own shipping or something like that. But if you want to use Mercari shipping options, what I like about it is that it's a really simple click. You just, once your item sells, you can just click print label and then uh, you just download a PDF and a label will print out for you. What I also like about Mercari is they really want to keep their users information safe so if you go to your order history it's only going to show the person's username it's not going to show their name and full address and phone number unlike some other sites like if you're <laughs> if you're if you go look for your buyer it will just like show up on on their app really easily but for Macari you have to like download that shipping label again for you to see their address they very much made this app into something that looks like a social media website you can like like items you can also see how many times your items have been viewed. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. So this is one of my items and um, I've listed it for a couple of days now. So if your item has been sitting on their website for a while and it hasn't sold and you want to lower your price, what you want to do is you want to promote your item. So once you do that, the Macari uh, website or app is going to bump up your listing. So when people are searching for this item, it'll show up at the top of the list. So I'm going to hit promote. You can either promote it to um, people that like your item or you can promote it to everyone who's searching for this item. Because I only have one person that likes my item, I'm not gonna promote it to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and promote it to everyone. And then when you click that, it's automatically going to drop your price. So the new price is $15. So this is 5% less than your lowest historical price. So I'm gonna go ahead and promote it. It's gonna bring it up to uh, the top of the algorithm when people are looking for it. One thing to note that is once you promote something, the price keeps going down. It's not gonna like promote it for 24 hours and go back to the old price. It's just gonna get lower and lower and lower. And you can only um, lower it so much. And 
and there's only a certain number of times you can promote your items in a day. When I went on vacation a few months ago, I had to deactivate all of my items because I didn't want anything to sell while I was out of town because I, I couldn't ship it. After making my listings live, after I returned from my trip, I sold like three items in one day. So something about deactivating and reactivating your item like pulls your item up into the algorithm. I've heard people say that they also just delete their item altogether and relist it. If you have a time and you want to play around with that, go ahead and try it. Let me know how it works for you. I listed something that apparently was against their policy. You can go onto the website and take a look at stuff that you're not allowed to sell on there. I had some like lactation. I recently had a baby. I had like these like lactation drink mixes that I didn't drink or didn't open at all. So I wanted to sell it on Macari and Macari actually ended up taking that listing down because apparently you can't sell supplements on that site. So I guess that's kind of like reassuring, right? You don't want to be buying like supplements from like strangers on the internet. So yeah, that's one thing to know. Um, make sure you go to their website, you read through the things that are not allowed to be sold. I didn't really get dinged for it. They were just like, oh, hey, you can't really sell this item. All right, guys, so that was my experience selling a Macari. If you have any questions about things that I didn't cover, go ahead and leave in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.